praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Well, uh, Pastor Joanne, the Lord has spoken with me uh, this uh, this past night. The Lord Jehovah, Jehovah El Olam, the everlasting God that you see in Genesis chapter 21, verse 33. And you also see him in Genesis 14, verse 18. As Jehovah Elion, the Lord Most High, he has spoken with me. The tremendous God of Israel has spoken with me about judgment. And in this dream, the Lord took me to a place that was a hospital. And I saw it had upstairs and downstairs. But there were a lot of people, so many people. There were so many people inside, even where to sit was difficult to find. And these people were waiting for surgery. They seemed to have cancers. They were waiting for surgeries. And there were those that he said were supposed to have been operated on in the morning. And there were those that were supposed to have their surgeries in the afternoon. And then there are those that were supposed to have their surgeries in the evening. And then the Lord made me know that the operating room, the OT, the operating theater, the door was shut. The surgeon had been in there with one patient for a very long time. So the ones that were supposed to be operated in the morning, a lot of them were still waiting. for The doctor was struggling with one patient inside there. And since morning, and he was standing, walking, standing in there. The Lord made me know. And he's struggling to bring that patient to life. It was a difficult surgery. And uh, the door was shut. While uh, the patients for the morning, all of them, so many, who were supposed to have been operated on in the morning, were still there. And the ones in the afternoon were still there also, not yet started. There was only one surgeon there. And then the evening ones started arriving also. They were also there. And uh, the surgeon was struggling with one one patient to bring back to life. So uh, this was the situation where so many cancers, so many people were supposed to be operated on, but there was only one surgeon, and the situation was so bad in that hospital in this land. And then uh, after that, I woke up, and then the Lord had me go to sleep again. Then he showed me again the same judgment, only that now I saw a lot of insects come to this land. A lot of insects. I was trying to battle with them. I was battling with a lot of insects in this land. I was battling with them. And all of us know today that those insects stand for the judgment of the Lord. I said right from the beginning when I came to this country in the year 2004, and I said that this country had been visited, that the Lord had sent me to this country like other nations, but this particular country to tell them to repent repent and turn away from sin. Now, I saw a lot of sexual sin also when the insects were really at the peak, when they were at their maximum. A lot of sexual sin that was going on in the land. And so, there are other sins also, lies, perversion, corruption, everything is in the land. So, I have seen the judgment of the Lord come into this land. And that means the Lord is asking this land to organize a national day of repentance this year. This land has seen the greatest visitation of favor and grace from the Lord because the country that has the largest number of cripples that have ever walked is this country. I'm saying in the history of the Bible, since the Bible was written, the only country I know of in the earth that 
has the largest number of cripples that have walked is this country called Kenya. This country also, ever since the Lord sent his servant here, has now the largest number of blind that whose eyes have ever opened and now see until this day. This country has the largest number of HIV AIDS that have been healed, verified by senior doctors, deputy directors of medical services, senior assistant director of medical services, top surgeons in this land, top hospitals, including hospitals in the UK and South Africa, where the blood has been sent of several patients that were HIV AIDS. They were really full-blown AIDS and HIV positive. But after healing, they have turned negative. This country, the largest number of HIV AIDS healed. This country has also the largest number of deaf people whose ears have opened, the largest number of blind, deaf, mute, paralytic, spinal cord injuries, including leprosy, baby Shalin. This country has seen the visitation of the favor of the Lord, this nation here. And so, the Lord is saying, even legs, miracles of creation, legs, short legs have been stretched, extended, and they have become normal. Hmm? Hydrocephalus, the kids, the heads have come back to normal, and doctors have measured. The Lord has done big things in this country. So this country ought to have known the Lord more than any other country right now. Signs and wonders. The glory of the Lord has come to this country. The glory of Jehovah has visited this land. This country has seen the tremendous historic reign of the Holy Spirit. And this nation has also seen the instant visitation of Jehovah. And so, the Lord is asking that this country observe a national day of repentance. He is calling this land to repentance. That the people of this land may repent and return to righteousness and holiness. The devil called Satan, the old serpent, never ever did he ever create a person or a nation. He has never created any country. This country belongs to Jesus. And that's why the Lord is asking this land that in the goodness you've seen over this time, many nations have longed to see this dispensation of the blessed grace that you've seen, the healings, the visitations, signs and wonders, God visiting you. But you have seen all these things, and yet you have not yet repented. So the Lord is calling this land to a national day of repentance, the church leaders all over the country now, I know the millions and millions of people tuned in in this land, people who are born again, have been asking, when will Kenya repent? So this is the hour now. The Lord has called for repentance because I have seen the judgment of the Lord come into the land. Remember when I went to Brazil and speaking from Rio de Janeiro, from Rio de Janeiro, I saw similar insects, many, many insects all over that land when I was there. And I announced to them, it's all over the YouTube, the original prophecies. You see me in Rio de Janeiro announcing the insects and I'm battling them. In the same way, I saw myself battling insects this past night in this land. And look, when I called Brazil to repentance, she did not repent. And look, what happened to Brazil when my words were fulfilled? Now they have their, the largest number of microcephalus kids born in the whole world in the history of humanity when my word came to pass. So this is yet another moment for this country to hearken to the voice of the Lord and observe a national repentance. The Lord does not know. He does not consider all CG denominations, CG who, who. He does not consider those denominations. The Lord gives one instruction, and the Lord expects compliance. He is God. Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Elohim, the Creator. He is God. 
and he has instructed this land to repent. Repentance is always good. A repented people are humble people. A repented people are righteous people. A repented people are holy people. A repented people are easier to manage, even on the side of the the leadership of the the church, the banks, the what of the land. You know, a repented people are honest people. And finally, a repented nation goes to heaven. They turn away from sin and enter the eternal kingdom of God. Nobody ever wants to go to hell. Nobody. I've never met anybody until now that says, I just want to go to hell. Everybody wants to go to heaven. So a repented people enter the eternal kingdom of God. After the short life you have on this earth, then you go into eternity of peace and blessings with the Lord. Other than eternity of hell and fire and torment in hell. That's why this is yet another wonderful window of reprieve that will purge the land, renew the worship in the hearts of the people, and turn them away from sin, that they may receive Jesus again and be born again. Repentance always returns the nation to righteousness. And righteousness always and always exalts a nation. The Lord has spoken to the church, that the church may now lead repentance. Hasn't the Lord spoken with you, Kenya? Shalom. Mm -hmm.